Hello fellow hams and YouTubers. Well, I thought I'd talk a little bit today about uh, the waterfall in your digital mode software. Whether you use FL Digi or DM on uh, Ham Radio Deluxe, or whatever you use, um, if you have a rig interface like a Signalink, or a, a home-built uh, audio interface like my Duino Box, um, you have audio coming from your rig to your computer all the time. You don't always have to use it for digital modes, however. The waterfall can be useful for other things. I'm going to talk about a couple of uses that I, I found for it that uh, you might find helpful. Okay, first off, there's Morse code, CW. Now in CW, when you are tuned to the same frequency as a station that you want to work, you actually will hear him at around 600 hertz or 800 hertz, depending upon your radio's default. You can also adjust that to other frequencies. But what is going on there is your beat frequency oscillator has offset itself when you're in CW mode by 6 or 800 hertz. And when you're tuned to that person's frequency precisely, uh, instead of a zero beat, you actually hear a beat at 600 or 800 hertz. Now it's useful to spot the station, meaning you're, you're listening to a CW station you want to tune into, and you want to tune your radio to where he is at the same pitch that, that you're going to be transmitting at. That way you're on his frequency. And that's a little tricky to do for some people. So using the waterfall, it's quite easy. Let's go to FL Digi and my radio, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I'm here on 20 meters, and you can see that the waterfall in FL Digi is showing this CW signal here. And let's say that we wanted to work him. Well, we want him to be at about 600 hertz, which is here, or 800 hertz, which is here. So let's say that my radio is set for 600 hertz for CW, so I want him to be here. It's very easy. to tune down to where he is now at 600 hertz. So if I was to transmit, I know that I'd be spotted right on top of him. If your radio was uh, set to 800 hertz for your CW offset, then you'd just tune him right up here. There. Well, I'm pretty close. So there you go. He's right here. This is five, six, seven, eight hundred hertz. So I know that I'm spotted for him on CW. So that's how you could use the waterfall to quickly spot a CW station. Okay, another use for the waterfall would be for filtering and adjusting your filters. For example, a notch filter. Now, most rigs have notch filters, and when you turn it on, it generates a null within the audio passband that allows you to null out an adjacent carrier that might be annoying you or making it hard to copy the station you want to copy. When you do that by ear, you have to have a pretty good ear. You have to hear where that notch is. Well, in the waterfall, you can see it visually. It's very clear, and it makes it very easy to notch out an adjoining carrier with a quick adjustment, if you can see it visually, that is. So let's go back to FL Digi, and I'll show you how that works. Okay, for notch filtering, what I've done here is I've tuned to 10.051, where we have the uh, HF weather report being announced for uh, aeronautical, I think. And as you can hear, I've got a tone, a carrier being generated by my uh, signal generator downstairs, and we can see that right here and it's a quite a strong carrier but I wanted to simulate uh, say a, a shortwave broadcast station or uh, another other nearby offending uh, signal so I'm gonna turn on my notch filter now you'll actually see it in the waterfall you can see this dark area right here that's my notch if I was to try to find this by ear I'd be going up and down and up and down listening for when it drops and it would take it would take a little time but since I can visually see the notch, let me turn it up so you can hear it, I'm going to rotate my notch filter and you'll see it move in the waterfall. See it move up? Visibility one zero, Q cloud, past 4, the notch is really touchy on this old Kenwood. Zero, 
But you can see how that notched down that carrier. So there you go. You can use the waterfall to visually adjust your filters. I'll move it back over to the left so you can see it move. There, see, it's over here now. See that dark area? Waterfalls are really useful for uh, looking at your filters. If I do something like shift the IF, there, I shifted the IF filter up, and you can see how down here our, our signals fell off. If I shift in the other direction, now you can see where uh, I've shifted the IF down, and you can see where it's darkening over here. Now I shifted the IF filter way over, and you can see where my audio passband is dropping off right here. So that's another way that you can use a waterfall to adjust your filtering. It's very handy. So there you go. There's a couple of uh, uses for the waterfall in your digital software that aren't necessarily related to digital modes. There's probably a few others. Um, I've used it for a few things here and there. So, you know, I'm sure that there's a lot of ways you could use it. But those are at least two ways in which I find the waterfall to be quite helpful in non-digital modes. Although some people would argue that CW is the original digital mode. Sure, but uh, you know what I mean. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, have a good day. 73.